into Cannon. Cannon just doesn't get to do a lot. We've also seen the Vladimir, or which hasn't been very successful. But what if we? It's just Zeri. It we'll see. Doesn't have a ward, so can't get vision into the brush easily. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna get flashed on. He, he plays with fire, and now he's not able to get over the wall as it is Poppy after all. That's so shouldn't be the end of the world, but still going uh, going behind in Dragons early on as an end up. Wasn't Maybe. able to finish off Faker. I think the rest of the team, like, well, he's dead. Viper's there. I run out of ammo. Yeah, TP coming in, and now this is about to get really scrappy. The ult goes in onto the light, but now the Tarm coming in. They turn immediately on the Zayus, who is so low, but he gets over the wall. And now Owner in a bit of trouble, but we got the flank coming in from Faker. And Gooba and Karia looking for a bit more. A lot of low health bars, but Zayus finally goes down to the queue of the Smolder. And Karia just trying to give up his life, just trying to frontline for the team, but Zekas is able to run forward. They deny the pummel. He is not able to get anything. It's another kill to the Smolder, and T1 are just on the run. They can't quite get away. Nearly able to take out Viper, but it's just a third kill. Yeah. Oh. Zeka wants to finish up Zayas, so they all pull away, and as soon as the kill is secured, they all push back in as a unit, and they're like, Zeka, you have the most HP. First. We got Zayas in a lot of trouble here. He's been it's denied reloading. by Peanut so many times, and you know, these times I'm like, oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Let well, just keep getting away. As <laughs> uh, Zayus will be uh, uh, rooted down, but now we got the engage coming in from Karia. As in goes the light, just trying to save Peanut, who is so low. And even the Poppy will be taken out eventually. T1 able to get that, but here comes big boy Zeka looking for a little bit more. He is so fed in this Come game. All that always, he always drops the ping. Poppy that. always trolls herself as a champion because you're like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to hit this. Oh, wait, I had Buckler up. Um, <laughs> and you just outrange it. Here comes Peanut. He's going in, and he's got a big crocodile right behind him. Owner and Baker just trying to split up, but they are pretty deep into this turret. They're going to keep Owner around in, uh -oh. and I think, uh, yeah, Mom's got some scolding to do. Ziel will come in, but Owner not able to do quite too much. As finally, the last Q comes in, and Zeka will pick up a fourth kill. Not able to get anything there. Zeka getting further and further ahead. First turret, turret's, turret's going to go down as well. The gold lead now starting to become an even bigger deal. About 3k here for Hanwha. There is an answer for T1 on the flip side of the map again. To keep himself in the game, keep himself relevant. Actually finish his first item before Zayas does. Fade into Ona going down and just snowballed from there. Now, setting up the Herald. He won't want to contest though. They kind of want to contest. Faker CPing in onto this one, and Dorin is going to be forced to flash away, but now the fight comes out, and the Zeri from the top side will be pushed oh, all the way into the jungle, actually. Zayus not able to join the fight. But now Karia, bit of an awkward spot. He is still an Alistair with Flash and Alt. See how long this journey goes. Looks like he's just going to accept his fate. And how many Esports will also accept a kill with that one. And that will be another one that goes over to Zeka, making him 5-0. They also got the Herald. So, uh, free kill. You're going to give uh, a... Turret's obviously still that one go down bot. Zek will pick one up top and just get even more gold. Yeah. If he won, went out of the frontliners. And uh, they do get Doran low, but he doesn't go down. And it feels like a lot was burned for not much value. Carrier was on this flank, but didn't get to make use of it. And now with the Herald, they take mid-tier one and just further open Dang up on the... the death cap as well. Because right now, if these Drakes... Start stacking up. If Humble Life gets this one, if this and uh, this attempt at oh, it can't fail. I need yeah. to get it. Uh oh, Faker. Yeah, he's gonna be slowed up, and now you've got the whole team body block. Oh, oh he's taking oh, away. I see it. the Corky. That second shot crucially hitting ends up being the main difference maker. Faker doesn't have flash. Plays that it? might look a bit desperate, trying to find picks on isolated members, and uh. actually <laughs> sniff them out. Yeah, Peanut's gonna use the engage cone and Faker, and they don't even know about Carrier. Are they gonna TP? Might get a little bonus Carrier here. That's a lot of damage, and yeah, Carrier does go in, but Faker, they finally deal with him. Down he goes, and Carrier is, in fact, the bonus Carrier that I did mention. So down he'll go, and now we have a uh, very awkward Guma, who TP'd into this fight. He is free as well. You talked about desperation. That one definitely looked desperate. Right, anyway, they try to make something off it, it just backfires and gets worse. Yeah, I'm also looking at it. I, maybe Zayus should have been happy. Like, I think by the time he arrived, I, I don't know. If uh oh, maybe another maybe. play here. Guma's in a lot of trouble. Can they take him down is the question. The grenade goes flying, but he will live with that flash. And now an opportunity for T1 to turn this one around, but this is so tanky. He's got the Warbox finish, and now he goes back in, and he's frontlining. There's the Nagamana Maker down. He'll go Doran. 
diving the turret second is a massive dragon at this point and they will just dive on in and decimate the rest of t1 Caria goes down it's a triple for the smolder and that might just be it i mean how will iv sports find another massive fight should just be game end here hle with the most crushing victory we've had this series once again, winning on blue side, Gilman gonna try what he can, but there's no way he defends against five here. Yeah, he's trying desperately to clear the wave, but there's not much that he can do. Down he goes, he trades for Goliath, but he will not trade Nexus's. How will IV Sports will take down game number three. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.